Da 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 da. Well, this film has certainly been getting a lot of attention lately. I've been meaning to cover it for some time. I'm sorry I'm so late to the party on this, but it's been on my list. It just got buried. I'm really behind covering trailers. I'm trying to get back ahead of things, and I think I'm finally getting there, but I've been meaning to check out Parasite for some time. Everyone's been talking about it. A lot of people that I know have been talking about it. It got a lot of attention based on this year's Oscars um, showcase, not only with several nominations, and a couple of other award shows as well, but for the Oscars, primarily four wins coming off, it's pretty successful, with Best Picture, Best Director, Best Original Screenplay, and Best International Feature Film. So, a lot of accolades here. I think Best Picture was the one that really got the most attention out of that uh, grouping. But it certainly has sounded very interesting. I am so glad I finally got to be able to cover it today, because I told myself I'm not going to have another round of Bad Boys for Life and Doolittle, which were two movies I planned to cover, but then I end up seeing the movies in theaters because friends were going, and I'm like, okay, I'll go. I just don't have any time to cover the trailers yet, but now I, I'm, I told myself I'm going to cover these trailers. I actually have to watch this for a movie class I'm taking for homework. This is be our final film of the year, so I'm like, okay. I'm not going to have another ordeal like I've had the past couple rounds. I am going to get caught up, whatever I have to do, and I'm finally getting there. And I figured, you know, for you guys who are interested in wondering where my thoughts were on Parasite, they're going to be here, finally, after how many months? I'm so sorry I'm behind on this, but I'm finally getting around to it. I'm so happy. So let's go ahead and take a look at this movie. It's coming from, it's an a international film from South Korea. I'm very interested to see some of the art that they have out there. I haven't seen too many films. I've heard some of their music, though. I've been very impressed with the um, arts industry out there. But this is what it says on IMDb, IMDb for what we can expect of the film. Greed and, creed dis or greed and class discrimination threaten the newly formed symbiotic relationship between the wealthy Park family and the destitute Kim clan. So it sounds like a very sophisticated movie, a very realistic one that is going to obviously bring up a lot of conversations, especially in the day and age that we're living in, things we're talking about in the real world. It's been very fascinating to me, though, to hear some of the whispers about this movie. And out of what I've been hearing about this film, I've heard a lot of association brought up to this year's, uh, jo or last year's, technically, the Joker movie as well, which I've seen. Really good. Loved it. That was another one that had brought up a lot of deep conversation in a very bleak way, but it was really a very powerful movie. Makes you think. Makes you shudder. It shakes you up. <laughs> that is for sure. I wonder if this will have the same effect. Again, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing these comparisons people are making. Again, I don't know anything beyond that. I don't know anything with this movie other than what I just read. I'm... Really intrigued with it, though. I'm also intrigued to see what happens down the line. because, Well, this is one thing that actually being so late to it has helped, because I can talk about this. There is some speculation, based on some uh, articles I read, and what I first read on Wikipedia, but I found the official articles that they were cited to, that there is an HBO series in development that's supposed to uh, illustrate what happens between the sequences in the film. That's what they say. But Mark Ruffalo and Tilda Swinton are apparently attached to the series, or at least they're rumored. And if Tilda Swinton... Er I, I like Mark Ruffalo, but I'm a bigger Tilda Swinton fan. If Tilda Swinton isn't anything, I will absolutely consider checking it out. I don't watch too much HBO stuff, but in this case, it's unavoidable. So, <laughs> so I think I better get watching Parasite now so I can get interested for that series whenever it comes up, and I will absolutely cover it at that point. Now that I'm finally getting a chance to watch Parasite today. Okay, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the first trailer. We'll take a look at the second trailer as well in another video, but for now, we'll watch the first trailer. We'll talk about it more. My might get while I was watching the video together. Let's give it a look. So, <laughs> it's been waiting for several months, right? Okay, here we go. I have a lot of respect for Neon as a studio, by the way. There's more accolades there. Full time so what's Is it okay with you? You're running me over with the beautiful architecture here. Visually, it's very impressive. <laughs> Oh, 
제시카 외동딸 일리노이 시카고 과선배는 김진모 그는 이사촌 Deadly serious. But I think I'm really thinking about what I did. I love the sounds of this. Looks very interesting. Again, I'm I'm all for a good like psychological thriller mystery. I don't know a, a psychological. It's always like the grab word I use. Definitely kind of a thriller a mystery in a way with a very sophisticated narrative. It seems, but visually that is really impressive. Again, I love the environments that they picked here for the house. The house looks beautiful, but it's a very elegant trailer. I love the way the shots are framed. It visually it's grabbing me. But again, this it piques my curiosity, and I'm really impressed to see where the narrative goes from here. Um, I'm, I kind of used in parts, but in, I, I think it'll make more sense when I watch the film. But it certainly piqued my interest, at least from what I'm seeing as far as the visual is concerned. But what do you guys think about Parasite? Obviously, at this point, I'm sure many of you have been able to get a chance to see the movie. Now that I'm finally getting a chance to, I can certainly see why it's getting a lot of conversation. Feel free to let me know your thoughts and below. If you've seen it, what do you guys think about it? As well, uh, that's just a reminder there. I will be covering the second trailer as well in a separate video, so be on the lookout for that. But for now, don't forget all that good stuff. Like, subscribe, and that bell. And until our next session of Parasite, we get to watch the second trailer. I will see you guys at that point. But until then, thanks for watching this video. I love you guys. Don't forget to love yourselves and your fellow man. God bless and peace.